I have a question. As a taxpayer in Canada, for example, shouldn't I not be allowed to choose between the conventional medicine as we know today to that of integrative or lifestyle medicine? Because um, I know for myself, speaking personally, if it wasn't for the understanding and educating myself on lifestyle medicine and integrative medicine, I would not be where I am today. <laughs> I'd be on a hell of a lot more medication and I would be probably a hell of a lot heavier and on mobile device and so forth. But if I would have chose lifestyle medicine, as, as a taxpayer, if I would say, no, I prefer to go to this line here and choose lifestyle medicine, integrative medicine, they would do the exact same thing as the, the offers of the conventional medicine as we know today. However, they also incorporate your life, they incorporate your exposure, they incorporate your consumptions, right? When I look back, I know why I was becoming very unhealthy and a lot of medication, a lot of everything and building comorbidities. I know why, because I'm honest with myself, right? But if I would have had the opportunity to choose uh, the services of lifestyle integrative medicine, what I would have learned I would have been told, dude, you're, you're, you're unhealthy. Let's talk about your consumption. Let's talk about what you're exposed to. Let's talk about your stress. Let's talk about your family. Let's talk about everything. That's the business model, right? And, and, it's, and it's becoming big in a lot of part of the world. Lifestyle medicine, integrative medicine, look it up. But they look at the all-encompassing. They look at the 365. Well, as it pertains to your internal health, right? On, on top of, you know, I use conventional medicine for, for the MRIs and CT scan and modern medication, right? Uh, however, I got off a lot of other medication while getting rid of medical conditions and diseases and illnesses and, and unhealthiness. <laughs> I got rid of all that, right? So I still use, but there, there's a lot of money people. I, I could teach a whole business course on where the money is to be made in this. And, and a lot of people make a lot of money in this world when you understand it's population health is what it is. So going back to that, why as a Canadian taxpayer, for example, should I not be allowed to choose between conventional medicine or lifestyle integrative medicine as part of the tax base, right? Um, and it's and, and as a conscientious government, you would think so also. You would say, you know what? The data is all there. It's clear as a whistle. You can't argue it. How the, you, the diseases and the illnesses and the chronic everything that comes from a lot of things that human beings suffer from is consumption, the overwhelming majority. So we as taxpayers should be given a choice to choose between conventional medicine, integrative lifestyle medicine. Jean-Guy Bourguignon, Jean-Guy Public Communicator.